but I have a tendency to let students in to diversify the classroom. And so that peer learning experience is that kind of one room schoolhouse experience where um, some people have a lot more photo experience. And so that's shared, that's all about teaching um, them to be teachers essentially and to share information. I say that at the beginning of the class, if you have a bunch of photo experience from either your high school experience, or you're a transfer student, I mean, why would you keep that to yourself? You know, I constantly encourage them to help out one another, especially in the darkroom. If you see someone struggling making a contact sheet, why? If, you, if, if you're better at Lightroom 4, why would you keep that under your hat? Um, you know, and so you'll see them in the lab. I'm kind of visualizing as I say this, side by side and um, sharing experiences. And that gives you confidence. I mean, I know this sounds very old world, but the idea of um, you know, teaching is the best way of learning. And so if you share your experience, it gives you confidence in what you're doing and it kind of solidifies your own passions too and solidifies your own beliefs in terms of learning and your own truth. So um, it gives you the confidence to, to continue on. So the one room schoolhouse, which I, it sounds a little bit like Little House on the Prairie, is something I really encourage because um, that exchange and dialogue is so important. I think that's one of the most important parts in Garth's classes, really, because, I mean, we only have one Garth, so there's a lot of peer learning that is going on. And people come in with all different sorts of experience. Um, like some people took photo in high school or some people are just getting in the darkroom for the first time. So yeah, I think we're really dependent on, especially the people with more knowledge and who are willing to teach other people. So certain people um, just teach you new things um, that you might have overlooked so easily. And that also, I think, is great when it comes to art. And so everyone kind of has their own thing that they do or own thing that they're most interested in doing in their work and something that you would probably overlook because it's just not something that you think about. And so by getting these different viewpoints, um, by getting people who have different uh, perspectives when it comes to their own art, I think it definitely influences your own art in a very positive way. Um. <laughs> he has a few group projects, so um, we have to collaborate, um, whether we like it or not. <laughs> he puts us in positions where it's almost like forced to like, have to like, communicate with each other and talk through things and everything. Sometimes it can be a little bit like stressful but in the end it always like works out because you have to communicate with each other or else it's like not going to work so um, it's uh, it's a good environment because you can still talk to them about it and everything but it's also like puts pressure on you to like get out of your comfort zone and try something new. Getting over the fear and anxiety I mean of reading your statement out loud and getting feedback you know, just utilizing some of the most simplistic things in the classroom, some of the key ingredients of a classroom, is audience. Presenting your work to a group of people and, and you've got your audience right there. You don't need to imagine what someone uh, would, how they'd respond to your work. You've got your classroom right there. You've got 20 smart people who can respond and give feedback. That sort of bond that he creates um, with us as students uh, becomes something that's very important in the class. So relationships and peer relationships become very important in the class. And he's interested in knowing about you, so other students are interested in knowing about you. And by creating those relationships, um, you're allowed to flourish and also feel more comfortable to seek out help. Um, when lots of times you don't want to be wrong. And so you're afraid, you're afraid to ask questions, you're afraid to go and ask and be like, I don't know what I'm doing, can you help me? But since Garth is so interested in like creating a sort of relationship with you as a student, I think that that helps you to create relationships with other students to ask them for help as well and not be afraid.